All right, Mr. Perry, uh, you have got something uh, really interesting here. Uh, yes, I've got sir. my fingers crossed for you. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, just tell me what you know and, and what you have right here and where you got it. Well, I got this from Henderson, North Carolina at a flea market. Okay. One Saturday morning I was walking through and two ladies was betting that I wouldn't buy nothing from them. So as I proceeded to walk across the flea market yard, a lady called me and said, Mr. Come over. And I went over, and she said, buy something from me. I'm just trying to sell everything. I don't want nothing but a dollar or whatever I have. And I said, well, I don't see nothing I want. She said, well, you don't see nothing? She said, there's a map. Get that map for your children. And I said, well, okay, I'll buy the map. You don't want but a dollar for it. And I, after I got it home, I began to look at it, and I found out it was America by Theodore D. Bright. Mm -hmm. And according to what I was reading, it was made in 1596. That's all I know about it. Okay. All right. Got it at a flea market. Got it for a dollar. A dollar. Okay. Brought it home. Did a little research. Um, okay. This. Um, what we're what we're considering this is it uh, whether or not it's a a um, a copper plate engraving. Yes. Sir. Okay. A copper plate engraving. And you're right. It was a uh, this Theodore de Bry was an engraver in the 1500s. Okay. And. Uh, Back then, engravers were, they were like rock stars. Yes. Sir. I mean, they were, um, they were as big as any big politician could be because there was, of course, there was a lack of information. And what these engravers did was they got the information direct from the explorers. Like we've got images of explorers here. And then they had the, the ability to then translate that information into a media where people could see it. So they were disseminating information that at the time was blowing people's mind. I mean, they were looking at lands uh, that they didn't, a lot of people didn't even know existed, and they had great detail of it. Now, uh, copper plate engraving was the technology of the time uh, that uh, allowed them to put this information into, um, into images. And what they would do, is, it's, it's a process called intaglio, and, talio. and what they would do is they would get a soft metal, which is copper, and then Theodore de Bry actually would then engrave, would actually draw this detail into the copper. Yes, sir. Okay? And then what they would do is then they would ink the copper, and then they would put paper onto the copper plate, and then with very intense pressure, they would squeeze it, and what would happen is the paper then would actually go in to the inked incisions, and that's what created this this text and these images. So um, it was obviously a, a, a really neat process that, that took a, a person of an amazing ability. So when they created maps back then, what they usually did was they created them for atlases they weren't standalone maps they would make them and then they would bind them into atlases but then as time went on uh, people would pull the the pages uh, out of the atlas and they would sell them as as individual maps okay so um, that's kind of the history of, of what this is uh, Theodore de Bry was uh, he was known for uh, his uh, pictorial his detailed of bringing maps to life with you see with uh, the different uh, uh, all the detail and the different explorers and so on now if this map is in fact a, uh, a copper plated engraving from the 1500s this map has a value of anywhere from about 14 to 18 thousand dollars okay and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to jump into this as uh, a senior accredited map appraiser and uh, we're going to analyze this and then we're going to come to a, a determination of whether you have uh, a one dollar facsimile reproduction poster or whether you in fact have a uh, an engraving from the 1500s okay. did you have any questions what do you think no, sir. I, think it's I bet you're pretty year. excited, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's going to be about the best return on one dollar that I think I've ever heard of. So uh, we're going to jump in and do the work, and then we're going to get back to you. Okay, I appreciate you bringing it down. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you.